Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. I just got R17 and have been playing around with a lot of the new features and I'm really excited about the the whole update to the spline tools selection. Um, if you've used the spline tools before in R16 and below, uh, you know that they're not super good, they're not very intuitive. Um, I actually use Illustrator quite a bit to do my splines just because it's kind of not that much fun to use the splines in Cinema 4D. Well, they completely redid the spline tools and everything in R17 and it's actually really intuitive and powerful now. So if we just go to our regular pen tool, uh, if we start clicking, you'll notice that we have a ghosted image of the spline where uh, our next point's going to be, which is really handy. Um, to get out of a spline, just uh, hit escape. And now it's really easy to get back into the spline. All you have to do is hover over a point, keep on clicking, you're back in action, hit escape and you're done. You go to the other side, jump back in. Um, it's really easy to move points now. You just hover on them. You can see that ghosted image of where it was. Uh, it's really, really easy to move stuff. You can even move edges now. Just hover over the edge. You can move that. If you double click on a point, it'll make it a bezier point with handles. And you can see that with the handles, we also have that ghosted image behind it of where it was. It's really useful. If you don't like that, double click again, it'll make it a linear point. If you hold command down, it'll uh, change it into the, the knife tool. You can just click and add points. It's just really, really intuitive and easy uh, to move points around and to work with this guy. So that's just the regular spline tool. Now you'll notice that if I hit escape and get off of uh, making one, I start clicking a new one. Um, it's all part of the same spline. You might not like that. So just go back to your pen tool and there's an option uh, right here for create new splines. And then if you start clicking, you hit escape, you start a new one, it's gonna put that spline as a new spline. So that's probably a handy little checkbox to keep on. All right, so that's the regular old uh, pen tool. Uh, we also have this new sketch tool. So if we just draw and sketch, um, it's going to uh, smooth out your spline that you sketch. And we have this stroke smoothing right here. It's at 100%. Um, so if you uh, kick it down a little bit and we draw that on, um, it's not gonna smooth it out quite as much. But now we have this third option, which is spline smooth. So if we click on that, we now have a bunch of other options down here. So if we check on our smooth and we start drawing, um, we're basically sculpting this spline and we're smoothing out the different points, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have strength and radius, just like you're painting on the spline. But now we have all these other options as well. We can flatten sections with the flatten part here. Um, if we turn off flatten and click on random, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Random's really cool because if we paint random, it's going to just start adding all these organic squiggles on here, which is really, really cool. That one's a lot of fun to play with. Um, we have pull. If we click on spiral, spiral's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of spirals here. If we kick up the radius, you can see it a little bit better. That's just uh, really, really cool. And these are all available in 3D space as well, so we can pull them out that way. So it's just a, a lot of fun to play with some of these options. Uh, inflate, project, so there's a bunch of options in um, uh, the spline smooth section. And then we have the spline arc tool, which is just, as it sounds, it's just for making arcs or circles or whatever. Click on a point and uh, just make a spline that's perfectly circular at the end. And if you want to do that um, on a regular old spline, just hit escape, go down to your spline arc tool, and you can grab an edge, and you can use that spline arc to make a perfectly circular edge, which is pretty cool. So if you ever need that, that is how you do it. So that is all of the tools. We also have a bunch of new uh, kind of Boolean options over here for splines. And if you've ever used the spline mask tool, it's basically like that, taking a couple different splines and cutting them out of each other. I can show you really quick. If you just have uh, a spline in here, throw in another spline. Um, the nice thing about the update is that we have a bunch of new options, but you can also use multiple splines. So before you could only use a couple. So you just highlight all three of them, go to your splines, and you can do like spline union. And it's really quickly going to uh, give you something like that. If we undo that, we could try uh, spline subtract. 
will get you something like that. So just basically Boolean options, some new ones to kind of cut different pieces out, makes it a little bit more powerful being able to use multiple splines. So anyway, that's, um, that's a quick overview of all the different spline tools. Uh, they're really intuitive and um, just way, way easier to use than the previous version. That's it for me. Thanks for checking out Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.